guys welcome from croatia we just arrived here in zagreb it was such a long long travel for both of us he came from sao paulo brazil i came from well hawaii i did hawaii san francisco dublin ireland istanbul and then finally here but i wanted to show you that's the bus that we took um it says croatia airlines on there and this is the bus that you can take from zagreb airport to the bus terminal here in the city it's about eight euros per person and you can pay in cash um, they'll give you change and um, basically as you walk out of the airport there's only one main terminal at Zagreb it's not a big airport it'll be on the right hand side and it departs every 30 minutes um, 30 minutes from the airport to come here to the bus terminal and then once you get to the bus terminal then you can either um, you know, it depends on what your plan is. But our plan is we are going to hop on another bus uh, to head to Plitvis Lakes National Park. And that's where our accommodation is at. So it's going to be about two and a half hours um, on the bus. And yeah, so we're excited to be here in Croatia. Yes, pretty much excited. Yeah. Another trip. Let's go. That's the bus stop behind this train <laughs> and where are we going now oh, we're gonna go grocery shop yeah we're gonna try to get some groceries to bring with us to Plintvis because we're staying at like an Airbnb and I heard there's not a lot of stores because they're actually staying inside the National Park but I wanted to give you an idea of what the um, the bus station looks like here in the city of Zagreb which is right there this whole building right here we're here in Croatia around what is it no late late May so the temperature is already kind of <laughs> warming up right now so which is good because I mainly brought summer clothes <laughs> so we'll be here in Croatia for about 17 days total um, we're pretty much gonna be in a new place every two two to three days <laughs> and we found the supermarket later we have arrived this is the uh, entrance number one of Plitvis National Park and uh, the way to our accommodations is basically through this parking lot lakes we just woke up this is the beautiful view from the balcony it's so gorgeous guys you like the balcony oh yeah so relaxing refreshing right yeah yeah okay let me show you guys the rest of the apartment that we got on airbnb it has like two couches don't mind the mess <laughs> the kitchen um made some breakfast we got this from the grocery back in Zagreb, brought it with us. I made eggs, prosciutto, um, mango, tomato, coffee and tea. So that's nice. And we got a really, it's very beautiful outside. You guys can see. 
some of the birds. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you the room. <laughs> uh, this is the bed. It's a nice uh, big queen size bed. The view of the outside. The greenery is absolutely beautiful. And um, hello. <laughs> and the bathroom's in there. Yeah. We're gonna eat right before heading out to the park. Good morning guys, welcome from Rostovok here at Plitvis National Park. Our Airbnb is about a 12 minute walk from, uh, well the Airbnb to the National Park entrance and we are near entrance number one. There are two entrances. So depending on um, where you're staying, you can either en enter through, oh, we're going uphill, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Do you sleep well? Yeah, so comfortable. Yes, very lovely. See you guys when we get there. The trees here are so beautiful. We're taking a shortcut or cutting through the um, parking lot. Um, then we're gonna cross the road to entrance number one. So that's definitely a pro tip. By the way, the Airbnb is that we got. It's only $74 a night, pretty good deal. For this location right and it's a very comfortable stay and um yeah it took a two-hour bus ride from zagreb and we're finally here to explore this beautiful croatian national park come along for the adventures thanks for joining so it looks like they do have their own mobile app in case you guys want to make it easier for you to navigate so they do have that they also have um atms as well so there's a big sign that says no drones <laughs> um, and this is the national restaurant called Lika Kucha I'm not exactly sure what how to pronounce that but there you go it's located in that area so I might have to go check this out it looks pretty good yeah yep. so they're celebrating oh well, they celebrated 50 years in 2022 so that looks cool. And here is the route, the different routes or trail routes. You have A, B, C, and K. Um, I think we're gonna do C, which it pretty much is a loop around the lakes. It'll take about, uh, it says here four to six hours or four to five hours. And you'll see the upper lakes and the lower lakes as well. If you do A, it's only this small section of the lakes. Um, B looks like about half of it. Um, C looks like it's the majority of it. And then there's K, which I think goes a little bit up north. So I think we'll, we'll try to do C. Um, so here's another map. Just to give you an idea, there's entrance number one and then entrance number two right here. And um, so we're towards that area. There's this overpass that you can take that goes over the highway. So that's pretty cool. Sounds like they're cutting grass right now. It's pretty early in the morning. It's only about eight o'clock, 8 a.m. But I highly recommend definitely come here early if you can to beat the uh, day trip tours that are coming from Zagreb and Split. It's so empty right now, which is really cool. It's not crowded yet. Also, it's a Wednesday, so <laughs> I think if you come here during the weekend, it's a different story. Um, here we go. So we bought the tickets online. Um, they were about $25, I believe. Um, and so they just scan it when you get here. So let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful, wow. So I heard they got a lot of rainfall um, a few days ago. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Cool. And it's pretty much just us here right now. Like, look. 
Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. And we just got through the main entrance right now. Wow. It is incredible. Oh, we found a fuzzy caterpillar. Hello, hello. No, I'm just trying to cross. <laughs> Trying to cross and survive just like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we saw a waterfall, I mean a waterfall, a rainbow. Sorry guys, our brains are kind of working a little slower because we are probably still jet lagged from almost 30 hours of travel and um, the time zone here in Croatia is exactly 12 hours opposite of Hawaii so <laughs> yeah I'm just like all discombobulated basically but I'm so happy to be here. Clitvis uh, Lakes National Park has been on my travel bucket list for the longest time so I'm super happy that we're here and I'm just mind blown that we kind of have this place all to ourselves right now right like there's no no tourist yet um, and our Airbnb host was saying it's lucky that we came because uh, they just opened all the trails just about like two days ago. So we got lucky. But I know that with all the rainfall they've ha been having, the waterfalls are going to be completely popping today. <laughs> oh wow, look at that river. That is gorgeous. I think I died and gone to heaven. <laughs> just kidding. I just absolutely cannot stop smiling. I love waterfalls. Love waterfalls, love nature. So this is totally my jam. Ah, so 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 worth it to come here, guys. Like just the energy and the power coming from these falls is absolutely unreal. Like I can't even describe it. Y'all just have to come and visit. <laughs> Water is a beautiful turquoise green color, very clear. You even have like these little waterfalls like along the pathway. Wow, it's incredible. There's even more waterfalls up in the distance. And we just kind of started, so it is like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we came to the first lake, which is the Kaludjerovac. Jezero means lake here and this depth is about 14 meters but look how clear it is like the reflection of the uh, is just unreal it's absolutely beautiful. water is definitely flowing pretty fast they had a lot of rain right do you remember that the, the, what did she say yeah, it has been raining pretty much late, lately. Yeah, so the water level is um, on the higher side, it looks like. So pretty.
the most beautiful waterfall ever. We're in heaven, people. I think this is called uh, the Veliki Slap. And it's about 62 meters. Um, and uh, yeah. 87 total, 62 meters for yeah. the, the first uh, level. Yeah, it's the uh, highest waterfall in Croatia, this one right here. There's a rainbow. Wow, so pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh. I am loving it here. <laughs> so this is what it looks like in the winter. Completely frozen. <laughs> this is what it looks like during high water. Which is, yeah. Kind of, sort of. It's pretty powerful, I would say. Now it's the more peaceful side. The lake is absolutely calm right now. I think it looks like this for pretty much most of the time, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. The water is absolutely wonderful. Like this very uh, turquoise green. It's so beautiful. So there are different on trails that you can take depending on your uh, level of uh, fitness, I guess. I think uh, the trail A is the easiest one to do. We're going to try to do trail C. And I think that includes the boat tour. And because uh, I think between the upper lakes and the lower lakes, there's a boat tour. Right now we are in the lower lakes part of the park and uh, it's just beautiful because you go through these beautiful calm turquoise lakes and in between those lakes are waterfalls that are just so breathtaking and have so much energy. So the way I feel is tranquility when you're walking along the lakeside and then when you get to the waterfall it's more like um, like energy, like a rush of energy. Also, there's no more of the wooden planks anymore. So we're basically walking on uh, like this regular dirt pathway. just chatting with a really nice um, 
park uh, person that works here <laughs> and she showed us two different kinds of snakes which is really nice uh, I wasn't able to capture it on the GoPro um, and she said the best time to come here is around May, end, end and of, October yeah but end of May October yeah, but this year May was raining a lot so probably whoever came here couldn't yeah, like that May. much basically she said just as of two weeks ago the park was not fully functional because of all the rain and snow that they got so we got really lucky um excellent time yeah what, what is today's fine. day may 24th may the 24th yeah and the waterfalls are absolutely popping because of all the rain and snow that they previously had um around march april time frame so i would definitely recommend for you guys if you guys want to see the waterfalls in full force definitely come towards the end of may probably be the best time and also not only that the weather is absolutely pleasant like upper 60s low 70s i would say uh, bring a rain jacket for the waterfalls especially veliki slap it's quite powerful but now we are um heading to the upper lakes right now i think and um it is just a very relaxing uh area what do you think hun yeah Besides that, it's so pretty. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we are just enjoying our stroll. There's Fernando with his binoculars. He's bird watching. It's a great place to do bird watching. So he's also my porter, carrying my bag for me. This place is really awesome. Highly recommend you guys come visit here. Um, so, yeah, it's so beautiful. Little dock. It blends, so it's kind of hot. Beautiful. Alright, so to go left, there's a restroom, place to get a little cafe, and the boat. We're taking program C. So I don't know if you guys can see the boats right over there. So I guess they go from that area to that to cross the lake. It's very calm and peaceful. So our itinerary here in Croatia will be here for about 17 days total. And we're starting off here at Plitvis National Park. We're here for about two days. And then after this, we head to Split for one night. And then we hop on a ferry to Broch. We're going to be, be visiting three islands. And then Broch, um, Var, Korchila, and then heading to Dubrovnik. And then we'll take a domestic flight back to Zagreb. And that would be, that's basically our itinerary. So yeah, thanks for joining along our adventures, guys. I'm super happy to be here. Uh, Croatia has been on my travel bucket list for a while. And this national park is absolutely gorgeous. Like I've probably said a gazillion times already. <laughs> to the place where you can catch the boat ride. Looks like there's also a souvenir shop um, and a cafe and restroom. So if you need coffee, there's a coffee stand right over there and some place to just hang out. Toilets. Alright, so the boat leaves every 15 to 20 minutes.
guys, so this is the Upper Lakes area that we just arrived in. We have to go a little bit uphill. A bit of an uphill hike. Heading back, um, we're just gonna kind of backtrack. Well, actually, I think it just loops around. So, yep, yeah, time to head back. So, on the way back, uh, it is a proper woodsy trail hike surrounded by beautiful trees and the view of the lakes over there. The water is definitely very clear. We have these like muddy spots right here along the trail sometimes. Let it be. Let's go around it basically. So we made it back after the boat ride, back to this area where you can actually grab some food and eat. This is currently what they have. Hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and muffins. And you can get it over there. The pricing is about 4 and so you round off to 8 euros for the hamburger to about uh, 5 or 6 dollars for the hot dog. Ooh, what do we got there? Hot dogs and fries. Thanks, babe. Cheers. Is it good? Now you can see how busy it is. A lot more people here compared to when we first started. <laughs> so I definitely recommend coming early, guys. Come if you can get to the park between 7 and 8 a.m. Um, when they first open, it makes a huge, huge difference. You wouldn't have to see all these um, or experience too many crowds. Um, right now it's around noontime, so uh, I think we're gonna try to head or make our way back. So definitely it's better to come early to beat the crowds. Beating the crowds? Yes, trying to. <laughs> it got so crowded after a while, I needed to kind of... As you can see, this is the difference between coming early in the morning and coming like midday. It's huge. Now I found a huge fish here also. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for coming along our uh, Put This Lakes adventure today. Um, my top two recommendations or uh, suggestions rather is come early um, because it makes a huge difference without the crowds um, if you come later. Also recommend to enter from entrance one because then you basically have the view of this massive place like right from the entrance um, and you're, you see the waterfalls in front of you rather if you um, come in through entrance number two um, you're 
coming in from the um, the upper lakes so basically the waterfalls will be kind of behind you I don't know if that makes any sense but anyways those are my two recommendations so hope you enjoyed the beautiful footage I uh, like to support the video subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video oh and stay tuned for um, upcoming videos from Split and the Croatian islands bye